What's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. This is a very, 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 very different video that I've ever really done before. Um, I don't really film these sort of cars, but we're gonna give it a go. Jake's come down with his little static t-shirt. It's pretty cute. All right, Jake, just, what the fuck have you done to this ST? I do like the yellow bits in the front, that's, that's very unique. But yeah, all right, explain. Like, explain. Bear in mind, if you don't already know, this car is static, somehow. With the big booby bouncing suspension, apparently. Even though you ain't even got BBSs. That's what it stands for. Stands for. All right, so what suspension shit are we running on this? Uh, a full HSD coilover kit with 326 power springs running at I think it's 13k rear and 30k front right but this is the thing that upsets me okay oh my god have you got that card thing so we can show them the old little little card trick yes. grab the card this will blow your mind that you've got a drift light why are you oh focus why you need that I do not know but it's just, look at the rear. <laughs> That's insane. Mistake. All right, card me. Sh show them the card trick. Go on, you do it, you're a perfectionist. In the burn arches, look. That is static. Oh my good God. In a minute, we're gonna go for a drive for it. Obviously, we came down here, he's driving down here. But it is just ridiculous. <laughs> You'll see it first down, but like, Right. Oh my god. This is this is harmful. Right. Everywhere. It's just like as it says there, fucked it. It blows my mind. But I mean it's definitely uh it's sort of like my car and my rap, it's a marmite car. You either you love it or you hate it, it's one or the other. Personally at first I hated it because it just hurt me to see it. It hurts me to see the bodywork in it, but I do love the little stance look like the fact that it's static it's just insane I mean how many DMs you had asking if this is on air <laughs> many, many. you must get it like every day like you should I actually asked him was like it's on air though and he's like no 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 and I, I didn't believe him at first because the rear I've never seen ever seen a rear this low stack it's a joke but look at it <laughs> it looks so cool it's proper like American singy Japan style like BAM every angle is like a photo with it which does like a lot the one thing definitely is changing needs a stubby aerial because that is pissing me off or go some massive wacky antenna antenna at least like the rest of the car yes you can't like with some ball balls and some chimes I think that would be good but <laughs> The car is mad. Nothing's done interior-wise, is it? It's literally just that. Interior, stripped. Yeah, he did watch my video to find out how to strip it because I'm smart. But yeah, he's gone through engine mounts, everything. Sway, you got exhaust. You got have you got sway bars? Got no drop links. No drop links. No anti-roll bar. It is just. But the thing that gets me, I don't understand why he's done this. How do you see out the window? Like, that's probably where my sunstrip starts about here on my ST. So if I had the sunstrip and then this, I would be blind. And I've just realized you don't even have window wipers, do you? No, I don't. What? This isn't ST3, by the way. Full spec. And he's took the window wipers off and put stickers on the windscreen. I have an ST1, I don't even get spec. Spec weren't invented with my car. And it's molten orange. Molten orange is like the best colour ever for Fiesta ST. It just looks nuts. I'm very jealous. But this is on three DSMs. Three SDMs. Three SDMs. I don't know. I know it's a scene, boy. Will. Let's be honest. Everyone says three SDMs and air is the way forward. Or rotors or some some shit like that. Yeah. Is correct. <laughs> or BBS. Or BBS. Like the sticker. But it is insane. Um, we'll take you out for a drive now, and you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so we're now going out in Jake's st stupidly 
cam and shit, Fiesta. Um, it's quite good because you get more dirty looks than this than I do in my, either of my cars. Start off with the easiest question possible. I think you have to go right in now. Yeah, just go straight. Alright, well, you're sitting in both lanes. <laughs> Alright, why would you do this to a Fiesta ST? That's the, probably the best question I can ever think of. Like, most people will buy like a 1 litre or 1.6 preface, like a cheaper one, and then ruin their arches and do this sort of thing. Why would you buy the top of the lane, top of the range Fiesta you could find? Made a friend. <laughs> and uh, why would you do that and then do this? Why not start on something cheap and ruin it and put an ST body kit on? Why does you get an ST and do that? Why not? Uh, Who's done it in the UK? No one. Alright, good point. I think it's the same sort of thing as mine. Like, I, I respect that you actually got an ST, you didn't go for the look of it and have like a diesel under the bonnet. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's pretty good, but it's sort of just, it's a waste of an engine because you've just made it. How fast can you go in this? 30, 40. You see what I mean? Like, it's stressful for someone who's passionate about Fiesta and has a fast Fiesta, chooses Fiesta, and someone buys a Fiesta ST and does this. I mean, it, like, the sounds it makes, the scrapes, the bumps, the turning, is awful. Like, you only get about, what, like half lock, usual? About that, yeah. It's just, it mind blows me. Right. This is a good. This is a very good question. As you're Mr. Static and you used to have bags, why go from bags to static? Because I want to try everything. Oh god. No, I, I enjoyed having air ride, but anyone that will tell you who has got air ride in that Fiesta has the top man problem. Yeah, yeah, Jack has that a lot. I was yeah. get it, and my mate Brian had his bag one. He had a top man problem. Keep clicking and knocking and shit. Um, I popped a rear bag, I've done fittings, I've done, God damn me knows how many bolts I've done. Yeah, but what have you done since you've been static? Apart from the actual, like, the coil what have you done damage-wise to the car? Engine mans, arches, bumper, exhaust. Yeah, it sounds like, when I got the car, I was like, oh, you've got an exhaust, and he's like, no, it's got a hole in it, it's got a nice big plug. I mean, I've got it in my BM, but BM's a bit different to the Fiesta ST. I mean, there's stickers so big up the windscreen, I can barely see out of it. Like, yeah. it mind blows me, but it's also pretty cool. Like, I mean, you get a lot of shit in a lot of hate in your car, don't get me wrong. But I mean, that's sort of the cool bit about it, because no one else has done it, no one's got the balls to do it. The fact that you've done it is a bit crazy. Uh, the way I see it, people hate it, it's just a fan, really. Yo, if you hate him, you're one of his big fan of his. It's just the sounds make me hate the car to be fair. That it makes me want to throw up. You should not be doing this to a Fiesta ST. It's brutal. That's what I mean. Everyone goes on about oh, it's an ST, blah 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 blah. Um, the way I see it, it's a 1.6. Oh, oh, good God! That was loud. Um, yeah, the way I see it, it's a 1.6. It's only got 183 brake horsepower. About 180 brake, yeah. Um, it's not an it's not an LDR8. It's not an M3. It's not nothing fast. The way I see it, anyways. Um, I don't know really. But it's just another. It's just a piece of meat to you. <laughs> so bumpy. <laughs> I, like, I just. I mean, when you look at the wing mirrors and you just see like. The wheels and that it is pretty awesome. Like I've never been in a stance car apart from Steve's, which is just he's just like what are we doing? There's not a speed bump here. No, it's a bump. Oh my god. There was nothing you could do. Right, Steve's just got air and wheels. I mean he'll say oh, I'm stage two blast, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's air and wheels, so it's not really it used to be a stance car, it's, it's not really on the stance of no more, it's lost it. But this is just like full out walls deep. Like Campbell where how many tyres do you go through? I mean, we said this before. Uh, every two months. Every two, yeah, every two months you have to change your tyres. Every, yeah, every two months change all four. All four tyres. That, 
That must cost so much money. Uh, yeah, that's why you have eBay. eBay tires. Yeah. Oh, good one. It's a very unique car, I'll give you that. Like like you said, I don't think anyone in the UK has done anything like this to a like they might have done it to like a shitty old Civics and 100 pound skip cars, but not like a 13 grand Fiesta ST. That's a bit, that's a bit much, but. Well, the way I see it is, yeah, I could have gone with air right again, but how much is air right kit for? Three grand, four grand if fitted? Yeah, four grand fitted probably. I thought maybe I'll buy a decent one, shit. How um, much were, what quite was these on? HSDs. HSD with three two six power uh, springs. So with like coil, I don't have a fucking clue about coilovers or stance or camber shit. But like, what do you need to do it? Like with drifting, I know I need a wide angle, like an angle kit to get bigger, better angle. But what do you need for the camber and shit? I don't know how that works. Well, I would say how to do it, but if I tell people how to do it, then I'm gonna get a day where someone's wheel's gonna fall off and they'll be like, oh, I'll blame you, which I'm not gonna answer. Ah, but what did you do to make yours do it? The washer method. Huh? The washer method. The washer method. Yes. The famous last words. Ah! That's a good cut. So, like, it's pretty, um, very random. I don't know any point, yeah. But yeah. So that's some of the interesting facts. Oh, hold well on, Jake's car was a bit mad. Jamie's no, a dirty road. <laughs> These roads ain't dirty for me. These are normal roads. You see a crack in the concrete and you have to slam your brakes on. Yeah, like the, the car is 
The arches make me feel sick. The sound of it when it hits a speed bump makes me also feel sick. Uh, go straight. But it also makes it like that guy there, like we just broke some kid's neck. We break a lot of necks in this car. That's what I like about it. Cause like my car, it's like I like something that sticks out from the crowd and isn't boring. Whereas this is a bit different to me. Like I like my stuff to look really cool. It's fair enough, it doesn't really cool, but a lot of people will see this as like, something that is just broken. Do you have many people come to you like, mate, your car is broken? Yeah. Um, yeah. You get pulled over by the police quite a lot. Yeah. Can you make friends with one of them? Yes. He likes your car. Yeah, follow him on Instagram. Yeah, follow him on Instagram. Please follow him on Instagram because he likes his car. I mean, if a police officer that sees a car like this, you would not think they're being, oh, I'll follow him on Instagram, he's a cool guy. You'd think he's getting every ticket under the sun. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's not as bad as Jackson, but... Great. But yeah, yeah, Jackson. But it's just like, like, I get pulled for having like blue LED bulbs on my rear number plates, which are which are perfectly legal, but they feel like that's a reason to pull me over and search my car. I mean, people just think I'm a drug dealer, but I mean, like we did that picture, <laughs> the drug, <laughs> drug dealer versus car enthusiast. This was the drug dealer car. Well, I was car enthusiast. Like, that's one of your friends. Was it? Yeah. I didn't even know who made it. It just cracked me up. It was so funny. It was so sort of true. But it's just like, you see a lot of cases shit like this in America, but never in England. That's another thing. There's only one other guy that's done some lessons in America, isn't he? And he done it after you. Like, he saw you done it and went for it. And his arches are worse than yours. Yeah, but they're like probably flared. When mine are just they rippled and then you hit split. I mean, it's going to be interesting when you come to sell the car, I'm not going to say. Come to sell the car, if someone wants to buy it, fine, buy it. I'll fix the arches, I'll fix the bumper, um, anything else that needs doing, I'll fix. Um, I'm not promoting standards to sell it, because I'm going to sell it the way it is. Um, if it don't sell, I'll sell it I'll do a raffle on it. When do you reckon you'll sell it? Um, have you already thought about it? I mean, Jake does need to have one of them little is it GoFundMe pages for GTA 6. Yes. So I love GTA 6. Oh, sorry. GTA 6 is BRZ, people want to call them. I think they are sick cars. And I mean, if he got one, no, it probably would ruin it for me because like TJ Hunt's one is amazing and looks awesome, but I think Jake would des destroy it. No honestly. But I mean, I have seen videos of some geese on Facebook driving like those like that. I think it's like some blacked out one, yeah. and it looks mad. Like, it is insane. Like, it's barely any tyre he's driving on. It looks like he's driving on skates. But it is awesome because no one else has the balls to do it. But what we'll do is, we'll pull over and we'll wrap up the video and pick up the camera in a bit, boys. All right, guys, we just got back. Um, we put his underglow on. You can see the rear, but the front, you can't really see. It's like, Underneath very low it Was around but he decided to um, break it all off driving it. So there you go kids. And that's why we don't go see So we're gonna wrap it up here boys um, Smash a like on this video because it's very different Let me know if you want to see more of like people's cars and get out on the channel if you want your own car shown Comment down below what you think if you like the car if you don't like the car what you like and what you don't like about it If you think it's got balls uh, Check out his, his Instagram. Is that the only social media thing you got? And, and his Spotify playlist, because apparently that's good. I don't, I don't like his music, but yeah. But yeah, um, they'll have it on the screen here, and then I'll link it down below as well, top link. So yeah, make sure you go check Jake out. Thanks to him for bringing his wacky ass car on channel. Very, very different. Um, and smash subscribe if you enjoyed. So I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace. I don't understand it either guys, I don't understand it either. Peace.